Hi here, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I am going to be doing another What's in My Basket video. Uh, before we just get going on that, I do want to just apologise that the, again that the videos are still rather erratic. Um, it should now not be very much longer before things start to get back to normal. I've had a rather a huge project going on and I will share with you in due course what that's all about um, but it's just not only been taking up a lot of my time but it's meant that my ability to do new projects for you has been rather difficult so as I say things should get back to normal fairly soon and I will be explaining it all absolutely and fully for you as well so thank you for your patience i do appreciate it and uh so let's get on with today's video so lily of the valley is a fabulous stamp company i'm sure a lot of you know of them and have used them they are actually a british company and um their stamps are gorgeous i really really like them and they now have started doing some digital stamps as well which is really cool so I thought that it'd be fun to take a look at what I've been putting in my basket so what I've been liking and has been catching my eye from their website I almost certainly will be buying some of these that I've put in my uh, basket here whether or not I end up buying them all of course it's just really <laughs> financial issues but if I had no financial issues then I would get the lot so let's go straight on over to my basket okay so there is my basket so you can see there's a number of digi stamps and then some real stamps and then at the bottom you can see that there is a digi offer that I managed to get by the number of stamps that I'd put in my basket as well so that's kind of cool it's always worth taking a look because some of these offers are actually really good so let's start at the top and work our way down so starting here I've put some digi stamps all together now with Lily of the Valley I do tend to sort of decide whether I'm going to use digi or not some of the stamps quite a lot of the stamps come in both formats but there are some that are only in digi and some that are only in actual physical stamps so you just want to bear that in mind as well but uh, these first few here the reason I've chosen these for digital stamps is because they are the images that they are means that I can resize digi stamps to whatever size I want and for this particular image I thought that would be really useful okay so the first one is a vintage racer and as you can see there it is there and there's the example as well so let's see if we can just zoom that up a little bit for you and see so a really fun image there of a car racing towards you I love the way that it's so sort of lifting off the ground and I just think that's just really cool and I think for these it would be really great to be able to size them to what size I want them to be so that's why I've chosen this particular set to be a digital image because there's four in this car set okay so here is our second one vintage sports again the real kind of classic car there looks a bit like an old mg doesn't it it's a real classic car whatever type it is so then my third one in this set and that is vintage style it's kind of reminds me of the sort of French Riviera type of thing you know you can sort of see Audrey Hepburn in the car like that somehow and then our fourth one vintage classic and there's no card example on this one yet I love the way the cars are just coming into the picture and kind of almost like they're driving out of the image as well so I think that's really a great set for there and then going with that I think 
goes with this really well is the sentiment set um, and again normally maybe I might be tempted to go for this as the stamp set however the advantage of having this as a digital stamp set is that I can make use of this with those cards because they would really fit well some of these as number plates so I think that that's really a handy set to have so then still on digis now the reason I got this one as a digi is because it doesn't come as a normal stamp but otherwise I probably would have got these next four as real stamps okay and there she is little Emma sitting on her swing isn't she adorable I just think I really like images where there's something like this because I think you can use this say on acetate cut around it and get quite a good effect um, it's quite cool if they have a back as well because you can obviously have a front and back on the image this one doesn't but I don't think it matters and she's just generally a really cute image I think that card's turned out beautiful as well that was Emma swing and this one is little ballerina there is another ballerina one um, which is available as a natural stamp and that is one that I have already okay there she is isn't she just adorable it's too cute I think you can see it better really on the card example there because you can kind of get a better view of her and now we've got two that are called furry babies one is kitten and one is bat so this is kitten again isn't this adorable I don't normally go for kind of baby type images in this way in that actual physical babies not images for baby cards but uh, I just thought it was so cute with it in its little outfit there and again these two did not come as physical stamps only as digitals okay so there's our furry babies bat image I think this would be a really really cute little Halloween card and that is the last of the digital stamp but anyway now going on to the actual stamps so here is some of the latest collect uh, releases here for the Christmas collection and I really love these four stamps I think these are stunning these do come also as digital images and I could see I was flip-flopping between these getting these as digital or physical stamps to be honest because I could see some fun in having these as real stamps and perhaps making them as some really large images and printing and coloring them so I still haven't 100% decided and the other advantage is that it's 450 for a physical stamp obviously it's going to be more expensive because there's you know the actual really good quality rubber stamps so you're paying for that whereas obviously the digital image you're only paying for the artwork only but you know what I mean <laughs> you're paying for the artwork not any physical uh, rubber etc so I think that is some advantage you know that's the cost advantage there um, but look at this isn't it a gorgeous image and then we've got Regency Christmas and again it's beautifully framed and we've got the old-fashioned well Regency look I guess <laughs> okay so here's our Victorian Christmas so she's putting the ornaments on her tree there and again beautifully presented in that card example there I think that looks beautiful you can really see the image there and there he is isn't he just adorable sitting there with his little laptop and there's our card example again beautifully colored okay and then we've got a cute little pram again as I said to you before I don't really normally go in for like baby type images like this with the actual baby but I just thought this was really adorable and it could be used for so many different kind of cards obviously christening um, new baby baby's first birthday so there's a number of different sort of 
options with this so I thought it was actually quite a cute image and quite a useful one as well so that's uh, the card example beautiful and there's the actual image so the next one is called balloon basket that previous one was cozy pram by the way and again for somebody who doesn't normally have images with babies in I'm doing quite a lot this time but I don't know I just really liked them uh, seeing quite a few on this sort of look through that I thought were cute and would work for a number of sort of different occasions and as I said on the last one I think this repeats again christenings newborn first birthdays etc so I think that looks really adorable lovely coloring a lovely card and now we're going to hanging around there we go so that's our cute little boy on his swing rope or rope swing um, and I think that's just adorable really cute card for a young sort of lad's birthday or something like that just think it's really fun um, so that was hanging around now we've got sailing boat and there he is with his little boat again same little boy just a different activity again another father's day but I also think it would be really fun as a little boy's card as well as a father's day card so now we're going on to the next one it's called a lick of paint okay so there he is again same young lad this time doing a bit of DIY painting and I think there's some real potential there you could I think I'm not sure if this comes as a digital image as well but if it did you could really add in you know some painted letters I think you could do it anyway even with the stamped image to be honest but uh, yeah I think it's really really fun so now let's go to Christmas light this one's another one um, that's not something I normally choose which is sort of like a fairy type image because she's got her little wings there but since she's just a little girl wearing a cape with sort of fairy wings I thought it's slightly different and technically she's a Christmas angel type of character you know just being a little girl so I thought ah and she just looks so cute the way she's pointing her little foot and she's obviously going for a little stroll I just think she's just adorable okay and then the next one we've got is James again that's our bear Santa stop here so there he is just a cutest little bear and you can just see there's like a little another little snowman with a hat and he's sort of like a wooden one and he's got a sign on it which is kind of cute so you can see it better props on there so the next one we've got is over the threshold which is our two characters, our little boy and our little girl. Although I think they're slightly different little boy and a slightly different little girl. And they're obviously in their wedding outfit and being carried over the threshold, which is so adorable. Okay, so then the next one, we're nearly at the end, guys, is called Little Nurse. And I just thought she was so cute and little teddy there all poorly and I'd already got uh, get well bunny which I thought I really loved but I just came across this one of the last ones I found actually and I was just like oh my goodness how did I miss this she is so cute and the little bear is so adorable then off in the caravan now this one does come as a digital image as well as a physical stamp.
and then in the shed so there's our little shed again this comes as a digital image as well as this physical stamp I think that would be a really cool retirement card actually really like that and then our final image for what's in my basket of lily of the valley is penguin presents as in gifts not as in the penguin is here <laughs> and i just think he is adorable look at him standing there with his presents and just so cute and then you've got him there in the colored version and his little pink cheeks just adorable so i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your patience with these videos being a bit erratic and i will see you again soon thanks for watching bye